What's going on? It sounds like there's a bird in here. It was my special request that they finally fulfilled with today's supply drop. Why in the world did you want a bird? It's a canary. So? We're in a coal mine. So? A canary in a coal mine? Do I have to connect the dots? Maybe you'd better. As long as the canary lives, we'll know we'll be fine. It'll be reassuring. Until it dies, then we'll probably be pretty anxious. The way things are going, it'll probably die of old age before we're rescued. It's also a great segue into the old TV show I'd like you two to watch with me today. What's it called? The Angry Birds. Maybe this reel is blank. Lights well, out. our lights have been out ever since the accident. Rated G for Grey. This was 15 years before the John Forsyth show. Who did he play in that? Major Foster, of course. Oh, I played this game a few years back. Heard they made a movie from it. There's never been a more posh-sounding name than Constance Dowling. There are some who might laugh at Waldo Bryan. This guy here is what we call a close talker. One day, the wrath of the meek will conquer the strength of the mighty. He's perpetually surprised. (laughs) Probably Botox. Well, I wouldn't laugh just yet. Would you believe his stand-up comedy tour was a flop? Was this before the invention of electric lighting? This was filmed shortly after the invention of fire. What is this, a radio drama? Show something! You should have titled it Single Cheerful Bird. Or Hungry Cat. Maybe the bird will be angered by the cat. Okay, I think the bird and cat and creepy lady have been sufficiently established. Can we please move on now? Apparently not. We shall linger on this shot forever. Paul Martin's art is always a laugh. Well, it is laughably bad. Who did the... Fellow named Caldwell. Hopefully a kid. Painted in pure mercury. Mm-hmm. Ah, they won't do. Phew, glad he realizes. Martin Caldwell is the best in the business. I said they won't do. Look at that. Brick wallpaper that makes any person. studio more sophisticated. Who is this, this Caldwell? And why did you assign the job to him? I told you to get Wall O'Brien. Well, I couldn't get Brian. He isn't available. Oh, now, now, I don't want any excuses. He's the best there is. When Waldo Brian does a pick the bird, you, you think it's going to fly right off the paper. His secret is he just flattens real birds. I know, sir. He's terrific. He likes birds. <laughs> he knows <sighs> about them, but he wouldn't take the job. Now, why not? Waldo and I are old friends. Did you tell him it was for me? Did you tell him this is a million-dollar advertising campaign? I did. And that's why he turned the job down. He says he's not doing commercial art anymore. Says he needs to he focus on underwater basket weaving. It's the, the next town. big thing. I called him several times. I even talked to his wife. Oh, you talked to Adele, huh? What? what did is she he having an affair with her or something? She tried to get him down here, but he wouldn't budge. Hmm. I wonder what the toddler-sized chair is for. Beg your pardon? Mm-hmm. No, nothing, nothing. I was just thinking. If we could just you know, make this bird look angrier. You, uh, you wouldn't put a cat in a canary's cage, would you? I get you, sir. We'll kidnap his wife. Ladies and gentlemen, the most average looking man in the world. So, where will the pigs come into the story? 
Maybe it's a metaphor and the greedy capitalists were the pigs? <laughs> Deep. Own a black cat, and you have to dress like a mourner to hide the fur. I don't feel like doing any more work today. Oh, well, you make little enough to keep wasting your time mourning over a lost canary. I can't understand how it got away. I'm going to the village later, and if, if you finish the drawings, I'll take them to the post office. I did, did you see it this morning? Maybe when you fed it, you left the door open. No, I never feed your bird. Couldn't have gotten out by itself. Now, what are you getting at? I've been waiting for you to say that all morning. Nothing. I I'm sorry. It was obviously kidnapped by a burglar. Well, will you finish the drawing? She really loves art. Oh, I'm going to go out again and take a look around. But what about the drawing? The canary will die of exposure and... I can't do any work when I feel this way. Adele, why do you keep talking about money all the time? We have Just enough. because I turned to down a and huge commission for drawing the same bird I'm drawing that. anyway? I'm the best I can. That's not true. When you were in New York, you had more work than you could handle. We never had to worry about money then. Well, don't you understand? I I've tried any every way of making work. money and except not? letting people Is pay me. advertising a uh, campaign beneath your talent? Oh, no. Is reading your line beyond your talent? I draw birds because I like them. In a totally them. not creepy way. And I have to do them the way I see them, not through someone else's eyes. Honey, you understand that, don't you? Gotta say I'm on her side. Did you see that? Have I gone mad? I as eloquently as you can. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Miss Nancy. Who are you talking to? Birds again? <laughs> yeah, doggone it, they don't seem to understand you. Maybe they do. Cuckoo. Sounds more like canaries to me. Even when you were a baby, your mother used to put you out here in the lawn, and first thing you knew, there'd be dozens of them flying all around you, singing and carrying on like it was a holiday. Yes, I remember. Raised by birds. Oh, I've missed this place. I'm glad I'm back here. I never had this many over at my place. Funny, ain't it? Trees, flowers, you can put in a bird bath. I never have this money. I guess they like it here. <laughs> oh, it's you they like, Waldo. I don't get it. How could anything like I you? I this place with that catch you've got. Adele enjoys having it around. Well, I've got nothing against cats, but that one of yours is the meanest animal I've ever seen. He's just always hungry for birds. Oh, well, cats don't hunt birds for food, Mr. Hanson. Citation. They've got to be very hungry to eat one. It's a, more of a kind of a sport for them. Ah, oh, seems like mighty poor sport to me. I guess maybe Mother Nature knows what she's up to, huh? Wait till he finds out humans hunt birds yeah. too. Well, what's going on? He speaks for the audience. Nothing's going on yet. I don't know. I suppose they're scrapping amongst themselves, do really. No, no. It's not that. It's funny. Yeah? It's almost as... Almost as if they were angry. And we have our title. <laughs> Maybe they're angry because pigs keep stealing their eggs. I think they accidentally used a horse crop foley for his footsteps. Where's the cat? Outside. When did you let it out? Two minutes ago. Then it's sure to want back in by now. Before art was invented, people just covered their walls with dinner plates. The, you let the cat out without this collar? You promised you wouldn't. You promised. Well, it, it makes them uncomfortable. Well, it's, it's the only way they're safe. If they hear the bells, then the cat can't sneak up on them. You promised it, Del. You promised it. Her chair has a little supervillain vibe. Hello, son. Cat's out without his collar, Mr. Hat. Help me find it, will you? Sure, sir. Sure. That's just what I wanted to do with my afternoon. As long as the cat's within five feet of him, he's definitely going to find it. Now the cat's going to leap out and kill this old guy, right? Here, Plot. Here, Plot. Where have you got to? Can't find it. And I've searched an entire foot away from the house walls. Okay. What's the matter with you, Walter? 
Well, you're acting kind of funny. All this business about the birds being angry and all that? They are. Something terribly wrong, Mr. Hanson. Something's wrong, I know it. How do you know it? Just because they're making a ruckus, that doesn't mean anything. It does. It, I don't know how to explain it, but they're trying to tell me something. It's, how do you think I knew about the cat being out? Oh, I don't know. Hunch, I guess. We were talking about that. But this isn't cats. the first time it's happened. A couple of times before this, I knew. Oh, no, no, Birds look. sounding upset you're going to tell me because you they see a cat. That it's chatter? just too no, absurd. No, not the chatter. The feeling. I understand how they feel. You don't believe me, do you, Mr. Hanson? Well, I don't want to come straight out and say anything. You like yourself that. said that the birds like me. Is it so strange then that I should understand how they feel? Mr. Hanson is a proponent of the birds aren't real conspiracy theory, so he doesn't believe they can have feelings. Where are you going? What is it? Yeah. What do you got? Pretty obvious it was killed by the polluted water. Hmm? Looks more like an oil slip than water. Mr. Hanson oh. is apparently blind. The canary, isn't it? The canary died! We're doomed! <laughs> Wings broken. I bet it, it was murdered long. by a rival bird disguised as a cat. Huh? That's how these mysteries always work. I went through this with my ex, quit my job to pursue my art. What happened? She left me, I got hungry. I had to take a job in a coal mine. Here I am. Well, if you skip the stage of her killing your animals, you got lucky. Is this how you get back at me? I don't know what you're talking about. Is this why you let the cat loose? Adele, I love you. Why do you do these things? Looks like he broke his hand. Don't you know? Because you're spineless. Because you could have a lot and you're satisfied with little. Because you have the heart of a bird. There weren't any human donors available. What was I supposed to do after the heart attack? Since she hates birds, it's odd she keeps a noisy flock of them in her living room. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have the heart of a bird. But remember, birds can be made angry too. Only by pigs, but still. Listen to me. Listen. They're angry now. You don't know what's going on out there, but I do. If she'd seen Hitchcock's The Bird, she'd never have done this. It hasn't been made yet. I suppose that's a fair excuse. Maybe it's the music that makes the birds angry. Help, I'm blacking out from boredom. Waldo? Is all this on the level? Of course it is. Why would I lie to you? Funny gal, Estelle. Adele? Cut! Hard to figure. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. I think you'd better come back to town. Oh, I, I, I couldn't leave here. Now, it's simple, Waldo. You've got to make a choice. Stay here and lose Adele or come back to town She's and... I'm going to lose her anyway. She hates me. She, I know she does. Oh, you know Adele. She's... She's sort of like the wick in this cigarette lighter. She'll burn Soggy you and lead to cancer. Flick the little wheel and you've got a fire. One minute she hates you, the next she loves you. Only she'll I slit your throat, sure then did. she'll say something nice well, at your funeral. I wouldn't mind leaving here. But if Adele doesn't care for me and I, and I have to leave here too, I'd have nothing. Well, it seems to me that's the chance you have to take. You've got to consider her too. After all, you were a big shot illustrator when she married you. You know, Adele isn't... Well, Adele doesn't belong in the country. She's a, a city creature. It's being out here, away from people, that brings out the worst in her. She tells you she hates you, she murders your birds. Oh, now, Give look, the girl why don't you come a back chance. To New York? It'll settle all your problems. If she'd only do one little thing... That... What did you mean when you talked about Adele marrying me because I was a big shot illustrator? Nothing. I was just stating a fact, and you've got to consider it. Tell me the truth, Henry. You think that's the only reason why she married me? Oh, Waldo, I don't know. Then I've got to find out. And I won't leave here until I do. Since when are there big shot bird illustrators anyway? That's funny. Birds have stopped singing. Funny that they should stop. 
Waldo, you've got birds on the brain. Might say he's a bird brain. Well, Waldo, you think it over. And remember, I'd still like you to do that job for me. Up to it, Dale, I'll let you know. Well, I, uh... I've got to get back to town. I assume the town is Bird City, Kansas. Well, uh, the actor couldn't be there for so long, this so scene, so they used a mannequin. Good luck. Bye. The hat protects his head from bird poop. Definitely a concern in this yard. Uh oh, he's venturing out without head protection. Funny how they just stopped in it. Right yeah. after I sprayed the DTT. Still there in the trees, but they stopped singing. And it gives a man a queer feeling. Makes me want to come out as bisexual. Something's going to happen. Calm before a storm. It's exactly the way I feel. I know it. And it's never too late to learn a lesson. Many times in my life I've laughed at that stuff about the meek inheriting the... <laughs> Moral of the story, incoming. Excuse me, Mr. Hanson, that's my word. I bet she's lying seductively on the bed, covered only in bird feathers. Huh. Has AJ gone? Yes. She's cheerful. She must have killed again. The walk did you good. Your cheeks are pink. Oh, I'm sorry for what happened. I'm sorry you I didn't mean what I said. I know you didn't either. What did H.A. have to say? He wants me to come back to town. And? They refused to help me move all the birds downtown. Dell, uh, let me explain. Explain what? That you can't more for your birds than you do for me? Watch through, Walter. Just what a little moving? thing, and hey, I want to... Come it! Come it! Come it, H.A. Come on, let go it! Here, here, grab it! Grab it! What's the matter, Mr. It's a cat. You can hold the blue chip. Is it Alec Manoa? Hey, Is he okay? Come on, get out of here! Come on, get out of here! This feels like an anti-cat propaganda yeah. film. Okay. That cat is an incredible hunter. Just try the can opener. Come on. Come on, Johnny. Adele, you've got to get your cat out of there. You've got to call it. He won't come out. You frighten him. But you can try. Please, honey, please. No, why should I? You've never done anything for me. What kind of twisted reasoning is that? This has nothing to do with you and me. It's that bird. How can you stand to listen to it suffer? I can stand to listen to it because I know you can. Adele, help oh, me. I'll do love. anything. Things will be all right between us, but help me. No. Can't get it out. What are we going to do? Call in the army. I don't know. I've got a gun over at my place. I'll go get it. Don't I'm afraid to ask. Who is planning to shoot? Oh, my cat, you meddling old fool. You're just going to stand here and listen to that bird squeal itself out? Seems to me that Mother Nature gave us humans common sense so that we can help her out once in a while. His ultra-subtle acting suggests he may be having a bad day. Are we making a theme of twisted marriages? This is a lot like the last show we watched. And we're back with even subtler acting. Kinda looks like he's making the noise. I wonder if the sudden appearance of the ringed planet is significant. Probably aliens coming to help the birds. Well, I'm glad that's over. She speaks for all. Yes. So if it turns out the birds killed the cat, I'm leaving. I hope you never forget sound of that bird squealing itself to death. I'll forget it. That and a lot of other things. Maybe you will, but they won't. Birds will remember. Thought that was elephants. You can send my trunk on to me. I'm going on safari. Uh, I get it now. This is the story he's telling the jury to explain how his wife ended up murdered on the patio. It might support an insanity plea. Quick, find a coat hanger and flail! We don't even get cheap CGI birds here, just in guide birds. What? Lady, get back out there and be devoured. They should have titled it Invisible Birds. Stock bird sound effects work cheap. They'll always be. 
Even if you get out of here, no matter where you go, they'll hate you. Oh. You see, I know how they feel. I think we all know how they feel. Oh, please help me to get away from here. Wouldn't do any good. <laughs> It'll always be the same, no matter where you go. I'm down here. We haven't seen a bird in years. Heard Guam is out of birds, too. Funny, isn't it? You've always hated this place. Now you'll never be able to leave it. Because bird-proof farmer is an impossible forgive invention. Me. Forgive me, I'll, I'll do anything. You say anything, I will. Don't ask me to forgive you. I've got nothing against you. Really? It's you fine. don't? Remember what you once said? You don't approve of keeping living things in a cage. Well, maybe they don't approve of living things acting the way you do. This is the boss level of the game. Now they've got you in a cage. Cage of your own making. And you'll never get out. Never. Unless you, say, use your phone to call animal patrol, or have the neighbors bring their cats over to defend you, or wear a disguise. But that's all too hard, apparently. Seems the birds have no interest in getting at her through an open door. They've moved on already. I don't think they ever existed. He just played bird song tapes to drive his wife insane. Mm, that's a new take on the birds aren't real conspiracy. Well, we've seen, what, one bird this entire show? Waldo! The Where's Waldo origin story is darker than I'd imagined. Waldo! And this without killing her? I feel cheated. That'll leave something for the sequel. The birds never actually hurt anyone or anything in this whole show. The aggrieved but ultimately harmless pacifist birds. And now she knows it isn't very pleasant to be hated. Something that never occurred to anyone before. Even if it's only by the gentlest of dumb creatures. Daytime TV audiences? On second thought, are they so dumb? He seems more of a bat guy than a bird guy. Is he stuck in a mine like us? If you're on poor terms with the birds, maybe don't stand in the window. But I always like to stare out my window to watch when the credits are rolling by. EJ was later convicted of poisoning 12 neighborhood cats. And an old record played the birds. Does anybody remember, Craig? If your name is Herbert Swope, why would you pass it on to your poor kid? Gray, such an appropriate name to direct this. By narrator, I guess they mean giant forehead. Fidelius Blunk? So many fake names in these credits. Shame on you, Arlo. Halloween Fight. NBC Television. Needs more Peacock. Hello? Knock it off, Bogdan. Well, he made it look fun. So what did we learn from this episode? I learned that cats are monstrous creatures who must be stopped. I learned you can flub as many lines as you want if film is still too expensive to cut. Actually, I think it aired as live television. Ah, that would explain the effects budget. And only having three locations. Let's just be thankful the camera was able to move and pan, unlike in the last episode. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you tonight. Remember, don't let your cat outside, or else... <laughs>